Hey Emily, today we're going to learn more about our L sound. So, you already probably know the light L sound because you've been working on that. That's the L sound. But with the L, we have light sounds and we have dark sounds. So, again, let's practice the light L sound. That is when your tongue is on the tip of the back front of your teeth and then you press it down, and then you go with the other syllables in the word, but we're just gonna work on the particular L sound, so it's L, you try. Good, let's try again, L. Great, let's see if we can do some words with light L. So the word love is a light L sound. Try pronouncing the word love. Good, one more time, love. Good, make a sound as you push with your tongue. So if you hold this, you'll already be saying the L sound. So you lift your tongue off the ridge as you move it onto the next vowel, love. Good. So say you're pronouncing the light L sound in, in just a conversation you're having with your friends at lunch. It'll feel like a quick tap with your tongue. So remember to exert enough pressure and then make the tap. Oh, uh, sometimes we make that mistake. The mistake is tapping too lightly and then the L sounds really hard to hear. So we have to make sure we have that tongue tap. L. Good. So if the word starts with L, you can be sure that it's probably a light L sound. So light L words start with the letter L. Let's try another word. Light. Good, one more time. Light. Awesome. Last. Good. Look. Awesome. What about in a sentence? Larry left behind a long letter for his friend. You try. <laughs> Almost. Let's try again. Larry left behind a long letter for his friend. Good. So much better. Did you feel those tongue taps? Awesome. Let's talk about the dark L sound. So the dark L has its own symbol. It looks like this. Sometimes it's lumped in with the light L, but l dark L sounds come at the end of words like ball. So the sound is ool. Can you try that with me? Ool. Good. Again, ool. Great. Try the word ball. Good. Ball. Now there are some tricky things to the dark L. For example, like after a vowel or the letter Y. So there's always a vowel before the dark L sound. So it can be tricky to pronounce the dark L on its own, but when you say a vowel first, it makes it easier, like the A in ball. B, all, all, you try. Good. So for the actual dark L sound, you move your tongue so that the tip is reaching up and it's close to that little bony ridge behind the front teeth, you see? Yeah, <laughs> but not touching. So at the same time, the back of your tongue would be arching up a little towards your soft palate. Mm -hmm. All right, use your voice now. So you know you're doing it right if you can feel the constriction in your throat as you make the ol sounds kind of like deep down in here. Yeah. So the easiest, the easiest is to spot placement for the dark L at the end of words. So let's try a different word. Almost. Good. Almost. What about milk? Good. Milk. Awesome. One more. Salt. Salt. Good. Let's try it in a sentence. I'd rather send an email to the school instead of trying to call. You try. I'd rather send an email to the school instead of trying to call. Good. So we have to pay attention to our mouth and our tongue position. Okay? So we have to know the difference between our light L sound and our dark L sound because that light L is going to touch the tip of our, the front, the back front of our teeth, but the dark L isn't, right? 
Good. All right, so let's do some practice. I'm gonna get our device out and do our app where we, I'm gonna show you the word and you're gonna decipher as to whether it's light L or dark L and using those correct sound pronunciations. Good job, Emily.